What if Juliet had lived? What if she had not given her 14-year-old life for a wild boy she barely knew? What if she had not let brash youthful narcissism deformed by the patriarchy and male violence overtake her better judgment and live the full, happy, maybe even quiet life well into whatever passed for adulthood in 14th century Verona? Directed by Luke Shepard and choreographed by Jennifer Weber, and Juliet, the new jukebox musical of songs written by super producer Max Martin, and Friends, as the credits read, with a book by Schitt's Creek writer David West Reed, posits an answer to all those questions, though quiet never too. No, had Juliet lived, this musical, opening tonight on Broadway at the Stephen Sondheim Theatre suggests she and her pals would spend a great deal of their time belting ballads of empowerment and lecturing all with an earshot about pride, identity and other important takeaways of the 21st century. Perhaps, we're left thinking, these kids really do have a future, maybe they'll grow up and be in a much better six. It's not that and Juliet is unenjoyable, it isn't. Somewhere beneath the bombast and repetition and overwrought from minute one approaches a Swedish and smartish tale that gives voice to the marginalized and, not incidentally, provides fans of the music of Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, Katy Perry, Kesha, Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande, Bon Jovi. Those songs, not incidentally, have something, or someone. In common, Martin, the super producer who's taken no prisoners approach to constructing anthems and ballads and upbeat tunes of defiance and self-proclamation have given careers to numerous superstars and voice to countless youthful fans. That Martin's productions employ an easily marketable, though not so easily copied, formula, relatively uncomplicated melodies, lyrics with plenty of repetition, single-minded messaging not over much nuance along with a sense of dramatic build that sprints halfway up the climb and keeps going. In other words, all sentient creatures are the near shot of a radio, a TV or a streaming service. Taken on their own, songs such as Spear since you've been gone and baby one more time, Harry's roar and I kiss a girl make fine drive time company and, at best, as experienced by millions of fans, a sort of generational soundtrack. To argue what their success would be as crotchety as it is silly. But presented together, one after another after another, the songs can move from inspiration to browbeating in record time. And they do. Tying the various Martin written songs together as Reed's book. A pastiche that shows very little of the edge that Reed and his fellow writers brought to subversive Schitt's Creek, 